This is one of my uh, favorite uh, plant and uh, extremely rare. You can hardly find uh, these uh, amazing beauties. I think it's not focusing properly. Uh, and uh, they are, uh, it's called Lepidagathis uh, kerelensis or it's a new species that looks almost similar. Then, uh, they're very tiny, you can see the flower. And then it uh, excludes, the, the unique thing is, it can, sir, it is evolved to grow on these kind of uh, laterite rocks on the west coast of India. That is uh, Kerala, Karnataka and uh, maybe Maharashtra also. And uh, it has this kind of pokey pokey look. And then they can survive in the harshest of conditions because this place you must remember, it is uh, it gets an intense rainfall of uh, some 2000 centimeters. I'm not sure it's 2000 centimeters, 2000 millimeters. So in a short span of some four months, so there will be continuous rain. Then it's followed by uh, in the summer there's a, quite a hot dry season where there is no rain at all. And this plant occupies uh, places where uh, there is uh, all day long sunshine. So in the summer it gets very hot. These rocks also get very hot. And then uh, in the rainy season high humidity. So in both extremities it is evolved to cope with and then it spreads uh, sideways and forms large uh, groups uh, kind of a continuous spread and then uh, it can occupy up to in this particular patch which is a sadly doomed place I don't see more than in, in two three years if I come here it is going to vanish and uh, you can imagine it's so small the bulldozers and all go over that's the end of it and uh, it's almost half an acre of uh, spread is there then show the other flower yeah, one. Ah, this is also. so that's the second flower there is one more flower here. It's a truly marvelous uh, plant. Then I let you hold this. So I'll show the location. This is a valley bottom. That side there's a stream. Many times I have covered this area. This is called, I call it as abandoned uh, paddy field. It's the first valley what I covered. And it's uh, been real estate, so it's very fast getting developed. And uh, so, the the, the, lat the laterite rock goes like that. And then there's the stream over there, which is flowing in the rainy season. And on these rocks, these plants occur. It's like a carpet type of formation and uh, I've done a three or four videos of this species because I, I fell in love with it and uh, for the first time I could get the good flowers this time and uh, since I'm, I, I doubt if I'll ever encounter this in my life again it's a rare thing and such places one doesn't find easily and any invasive plant comes in, it's too short and uh, slow kind of thing to cope. So, that's the reason. And also, I, I somehow took a fancy for this, this doomed species. And uh, it makes me simultaneously happy and sad when I see them. Because such a beautiful thing. You, there's no, nobody knows about this plant, hardly some few bot botanist uh, specialists they know. And then uh, nobody is growing it also. 
If it gets and they are, these are endemic species that specialize to grow in a peculiar environment. What of this uh, by geoclimatic region only? It doesn't occur in all kind of places. So it's something. These are the kind of things that need to be saved. It, we don't know what exactly it. What are its properties? and then uh, we know nothing about them the first step is to find out where it grows and then uh, observe its uh, natural habitat and then uh, see here the sunlight is less so it is, it is uh, cooler so it's greener can you see there See, it's greener there, isn't it? Huh? And then this part is more exposed to the sunlight, so it's become browner. And if you go to the core of that, under that uh, shade, you get the fully uh, more green and nice. In this video, it doesn't look. You know, this is the best what we can do and it's a marvelous shapes and color and uh, seeing that flower was most rewarding and gratifying for me it's a rare sight okay that is so nice i'm happy today Now I'll show you the other patch also, so that we have done some scientific documentation along with everything else. So these these laterite rocks, they are they have them here. I thought little bit higher up. If you go another thirty feet, it's not there. Just stream bed along the stream bed. See the rocks are uh, so hard here; big trees can't grow, so that la that lepidagathis can survive. If there are big trees, that shade and the that dropped leaves and all will be smother it off. This is the stream bed where water flows. Then after you cross the stream bed, this side uh, there is about one inch of soil or less. And then uh, that same patch, actually, the other side of it is there here. At the end of the summer, all these dry grasses will vanish. Then only this, this exposed. Uh, see here, the flower color is different. Did you notice? Alu or white itto. Itta. Just one. Uh huh. So here, the, the, it can tolerate this much of grass. These grasses will die out. Then in the summer, uh, in the next monsoon, it will sprout again. One has fallen down. Mm -hmm. So, after the the rains come properly, these grasses come up and little bit they get smothered, but that much they can tolerate. This is the other color. Third color. Maybe it's because of the soil. It's, it's a little different maybe the, the color or it's another species altogether who knows see I'll, I'll show you how big this patch is come see it's also there here okay can you see yeah. then development is happening <laughs> right on top of that lepidagathis people are dumping their rubbish Hmm, come here. See, it's there here also. This is one patch, almost it, it uh, extends like this till there. And if these bigger invasive plants land up, then they're in trouble. So, that is about Lepidagathi.